Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Talks Trading. My name is Sky and I'm on a quest to invest and today's video is all about Mara stock. Haven't talked about Mara stock in a good while actually. So let's jump right in. In case you don't know, Marathon Digital Holdings is a digital asset technology company which mines cryptocurrencies with a focus on the blockchain ecosystem and the generation of digital assets. Marathon Digital Holdings, formerly known as Marathon Patent Group Inc., is based in Las Vegas. Shares of Mara opened at 38 dollars and 73 cents on Thursday. The stock has a 50-day moving average of 51 dollars and 76 cents and a 200-day moving average of 38 dollars and 59 cents. They have a market cap of 3.97 billion, a PE ratio of 71.72 and a beta of 4.73. Their 52-week low was 7 dollars and 65 cents and a 52 week high of 83 dollars and 45 cents. Several hedge funds have actually recently made changes to their positions in Mara stock. For instance, V Wealth Advisors uh, LLC, I hope that stands for like very wealthy advisors, uh, increased its position in shares by 2.3% during the third quarter. So they now own 9,510 shares of Mara stock, and that's worth 300,000. Arizona State Retirement System lifted its stake in shares of Mara by 0.9% during the third quarter. Uh, also, Mitsubishi UFJ Kokasai Asset Management increased its position by 1.9%. National Asset Management increased its position by 3.4%. And finally, Clearstead Advisors LLC increased its holding in Mara stock by 7.9%, which is pretty big. Uh, what's more, Mara stock was analyzed by 10 analysts and the buy percentage consensus is at 84%. Uh, so analysts seem very confident about Mara, and analysts have also set a mean price target of $64.09. This target is 82.77% above the current price. So also we've got some unusual options activity. Mara is actually the number seven ticker with unusual activity from institutional traders with an average of 22% out of the money. So this is a leading indicator of market movement. You know, I think regardless of how Bitcoin price fluctuates, uh, you know, recently pretty big fluctuations between 40k and 70k, Mara is oversold based on their current hash rate growth and potential Bitcoin production targets over the next few months. If the stock market looks out three to six months as their typical practice, then they are missing the growth picture of the stock. You know, they're they're missing the big picture, essentially. You know, I think if they could uh, just improve the installation process, otherwise they are risking missing 15 percent or up to 20 percent of mining revenue. You know, I think they should ideally announce another 80,000 mining rigs. Uh, which would put the valuation doubt off the table completely. And they should target 20 plus hash rate or lock in 11% of the mining network. But their estimated revenue for December is 27.9 million to, you know, 29.7 million USD. Regardless, though, I'm pretty bullish on Mara stock and uh, looks like a lot of analysts and hedge funds agree with me. I'm not a financial advisor, though. Keep that in mind. Um, so in news, Reddit has filed for IPO. This is definitely a hotly anticipated public listing, and it was filed confidentially on late Wednesday. While the number of shares or price range for the listing have not yet been finalized, uh, they expect this to occur after the SEC completes its review. You know, Reddit, the home of Wall Street bets, they were valued at $10 billion in a funding round in August. So I will definitely be keeping you up to date on that. Also, Samsung breaks ground. The semiconductor stock may be in the red, you know, when it comes to the year to date, but it has gained in the past month following the best ever quarterly profits for a third quarter. A management shakeup and plans to build $17 billion uh, chip plant in Texas are also lifting prospects for the stock. 
Um, and 36 out of 38 analysts on Yahoo Finance are rating shares either a strong buy or a buy. So, you know, do with that what you will. And then, of course, we've got to talk about the stuff with the Fed. U.S. equities rallied following the Federal Reserve's forecast for three interest rate rises in 2022, with the S&P 500 closing at its second highest level on record on Wednesday. The central bank also approved plans to ease its bond buying program by March. March, decreasing the risk of runaway growth in consumer prices. UK and European stocks extended gains yesterday, among further policy announcements by the European Central Bank and the Bank of England. So that is it for today, guys. Let me know if there's any particular stocks that you want me to cover in my next video. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon, guys.